Liz Garbers confirms Netflix made a U-turn. Sussex's heart of Invictus stopped releasing after the Emmy snub. Meghan Markle must be fuming right now. The Emmy nominations were just released, and the Sussex's Netflix series was not nominated for any awards. According to Deadline, in contrast, this should be a massive win for the Mexitia community. However, it also shows the blatantly obvious ploy was to get them into the A-list parties and the crowds the former actress had dreamed of for her entire life. It also shows Hollywood doesn't want them invited to more significant events. The Sussexes are well known for putting out puff pieces claiming they've been invited to the Met Gala and the Oscars when they weren't. Also, just because you get high ratings on something doesn't ensure reward success. Also, it's well established that Meghan buys awards for herself. If anything, Meghan would probably blame Harry and the team is behind the reality show. Let's get real here. That's what it was for not getting the nomination as was promised. As Brittany of Royal News Network said in her video about the Emmy snub, plates will fly. According to sources, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's snub at the Emmys may have cost the couple £300 million in exclusive deals. And just weeks after losing their $20 million Spotify contract, that would end up hitting them in the pocket. Showbiz writer, media commentator and entertainment editor at Mark Meek, Mark Boardman, previously predicted a win at the Emmys could have opened the door to exclusive deals worth hundreds of millions. Speaking before Wednesday's Emmy announcement to the US Express, he tipped the show, directed by Liz Garbus, to be among the nominees. He predicted a win would carry huge status for the couple and asked how much they had been expected to make if they won the prize. He said, It was expected that the couple would rake up to, anywhere between, 250 and 300 million pounds in a future exclusive deal if they went on to secure an Emmy Award win, but only if they can find the right project for them. However, after the Emmy snubbed them, Netflix also turned their back on them. An Emmy nomination or win would be a good thing for Netflix. Overall, they'd surely be keen to overtake HBO in the overall Emmy wins after falling behind last year. But Meghan and Harry's docuseries didn't achieve the success. So, the Heart of Invictus series should be stopped because now there are many negative reactions about Meghan stealing veterans' money, according to the Netflix strategist. If it is released, the success rate is probably only 10%. Meghan's got dirty on it. Indeed, first, The Heart of Invictus was going to debut last winter. Then, we were told this summer, what's the hold-up? I smell something markled. Debuts of high-profile Netflix productions get around two months lead time from official announcements to air date. They drop a teaser at that time, and the official trailer is dropped a month in advance, sometimes earlier. For recent comparison, Witcher Season 3 was announced on April the 25th for a June the 29th release of Part 1, Part 2, and due to be released in July the 27th. It's less than two months now for the Evictus Games to start, and Netflix has not made an announcement, which suggests that the production is not something that the streamer is very proud of or believes anticipation is high for, or September release is not happening. But I think Netflix should release it as it is, let the viewing public see that a documentary, which was supposed to be about disabled veterans, instead was hijacked by a former Z-list actress, who hogs every scene while swanning about in high-priced, ill-fitting designer clothes. Then, it should be obvious for even the most die-hard fans just why nobody in Hollywood wants anything to do with the duo.